Hi everyone, welcome back. This next video is about um, creating the coaster, which should be very, very simple for you all um, because you've had quite a bit of experience in Fusion now, but also it is a pretty simple process. So we want to create a new design so we can come up the top and just press plus or go up to file new design. Either way, you can do that. When we're in here, that Z axis that we just um, made sure or changed in our preferences should be pointing up. Okay, let's just double check that. Now, when we um, come up here, what we want to do is practice that process of always creating a new component, and we'll call this coaster. We want to just be in the habit of every time we do any work on here, we're creating a new component. So, uh, now we want to create sketch. We want to click the bottom um, plane because um, we want it to be able to draw as it will sit in the machine. So. That is the up and down, that's your Z axis. That would be the bottom of the machine, that would be the side of the machine. So we want to make sure we draw our coaster on the bottom. So we click on that one. We are simply going to grab our circle tool and you can either click and then dimension it or put the dimension in as you are doing it. Now, I did a few shortcuts then. To dimension that, instead of clicking sketch dimension, I hit as you hover, it comes up with the little D in brackets. I hit D on my keyboard, that gave me the ability to dimension it. That's all I need to do. I will always put the center of my circle or the start of my drawing on the origin. That's a really important thing to do. It just locks it into that point of the, um, the sketch screen. So now I'm going to go finish sketch and I'm going to extrude that and we're just extruding at nine millimeters. So I'm just going to bring that up so my face isn't in the way. Go OK. We're going to chuck an appearance on that straight away so you can go modify appearance or hit the letter A on your keyboard and that will bring this up and again just scoot it up above my head and you go down to um, on here you'll click on wood finished and then select uh, where is it 3D pine I might just make this a bit bigger if it's going to let me no um let's roll that down where's my pine semi-gloss have i gone past it must have there you are. just click and drag that on just so it looks like the material and i'm going to close that so i've got my uh, material on there now we're just going to add a fillet but it's actually a radius we're putting on that corner all right so we need to select the edges that we want to put that radius onto and then just type in three down here that's all we need so a three mil radius just to get that edge off and that's done for the radius and the last thing we want to do is we want to actually um, put our initials on there and then extrude it down so we've got something to do the resin pour in so what we're going to do is go oh, not create we're just going to create a new sketch on that top surface and then here we go create and down to text so it's a bit like a text box in in word we can just draw it and then put in your initials now oh, because I've done it before, it's already bold, aerial black, and 30. Um, yours will be different, so just change them to that. It'll just give you a big enough bit of text to be able to um, engrave because we need to make sure our cut is only three millimeters in size. Well, it is three millimeters in size. So if we had a gap any smaller than three mil, it won't be able to do it because it can't move along, go in and cut and come back out because it's three millimeters in diameter. So that's why I've done really big text there. Okay, and just move that the best you can by eye to the center of your um, coaster. Once you've done, finish the sketch there, and now we're just gonna extrude that down. So make sure you're hovering over and clicking on your initials, and we wanna go negative five. Oh, now what? Having a few issues here. Let's see if it will do it now. There we are. Negative five. There we go. Okay. And I've got that cut out. Okay. So that's our coaster. That's what you need to do to be ready to manufacture. So let's save that now. And if you haven't done anything before or created a, a folder location, drop the arrow down. And along the left here, we have projects. Now what you could do is create a new project and call it 2022 Stage 1 Advanced Timber and that's where we're going to save it into. Create a new folder then within that um, 
that folder so if i click on oh, it won't let me if you've created that it'll open to a blank screen then create a new folder and call it formative skills tasks and then let's just call this your coaster so um maybe have oh you don't have to put your name in that's right okay sir excellent and then drop that up there hit save so that's what you need to do we'll see you in the next video for the manufacture process